Amac on the mix. Ugh. Yo, what up, guys? It's your girl Amac back with another quick tip. And today I want to talk about getting phantom clicks and pops because of AutoTune Pro. A couple years ago, I had this issue where I was getting clicks and pops all over the place, but I could tell they weren't actually in the recording. I tried everything. I changed my microphone, my cable, my interface. Eventually, my computer still having this problem. Took deep dives on the internet and eventually found an article from Antares saying that Autotune Pro will create clicks and pops because of its tracking function. The tracking knob is basically a waveform that helps Autotune detect the pitch and how much wiggle room it has to do that. I'm gonna read the definition after I show you this, but I really just wanna get to the point of how do you get rid of these clicks and pops? All you have to do is go up here to your tracking knob that is always on 50 and turn it to one. Once it's on one, the clicks and the pops, aka the artifacts that Autotune Pro is creating will be gone. 95% of the time, it's staying on 50 is fine and I don't get any clicks and pops. But when it does happen, it's absolutely maddening and it's not really an easy thing to Google. So I hope that this finds people and I hope that it helps them tremendously. I would have loved this video a couple years ago. But just so you can understand, I want to bring up the actual definition that Antares gives you for what the tracking knob is. So you can see it right up here. Tracking. In order to accurately identify the pitch of the input, Autotune Pro requires a periodically repeating waveform characteristic of a solo voice or solo non-chordal instrument. The tracking control determines how much variation is allowed in the waveform for Autotune Pro to consider it periodic. In most cases, the tracking should be left at its default value of 50. A noisier signal or a vocal performance that is unusually breathy may require a more relaxed setting, aka a higher tracking value. If you're hearing artifacts such as clicks and pops, try setting the tracking to a choosier setting, aka a low tracking value, aka put that bad boy in one and get those clicks and pops out of here. And that's all I got for y'all today. Peace.